If you see a trash bag on the side of the road and think, uh, that's a dead body, you are in the right spot. This is Crime Obsession. Welcome to Crime Obsession, your true crime talk show. I'm your host, Tracy Stump, and this episode, we're taking a look at what makes true crime podcasts so addictive. I'm gonna be talking with Katherine Townsend, the host and producer of the mesmerizing podcast, Hell and Gone, and then I'm heading to the streets to talk to you, the true crime junkies. Please welcome Sky Borgman, the director of Abducted in Plain Sight. So a big thing on the internet right now is that the parents are lying. Right. Do you believe the parents? I totally believe the parents. You do? Even though the dad omitted the the whole affair yeah. from the book and right. that you didn't even get that information until you saw the FBI files, right? right? Did right. that like lead you to believe that there was more secrets that they were keeping? You are royalty where I come from. <sighs> where do you come from? The true crime the world? The true crime world, yeah. yes. Well, thanks for having me. What is it about serial killers specifically that we're just so transfixed with. So it doesn't seem like there's monsters out there anymore, except for these guys. Right. It reminds me of Sam Little, who really preyed on the marginalized members of society. Serial killers, if they've killed five people, they're going to say they killed 50. You know, yeah. they, they like that braggadocio. He said he killed 90. Samuel, Samuel Little came out and said he killed 90, yeah. and they've been able to verify a lot of them, almost half artwork. of them. By his artwork. What do you say to people who say that the fascination with serial killers takes the focus off of the victim? Christmas Day, 1996. Jerry Maguire is crushing it at the box office. Tony Braxton wants her heart unbroken, and the entire nation is about to be consumed by the heartbreaking murder of a six-year-old beauty queen. Her intention at the end of her shift is to go home and go to sleep. She gets off on the wrong floor, goes to the wrong apartment number, clearly stated, not, not her apartment, bright floor mat on the floor, notices that the door is ajar and still goes in. There's so many signs pointing to that this is not where she sleeps every night. Do you get the sense that the defense team was trying to get Amber to declare innocence? Absolutely, I, I think that, that the defense team wanted Amber to go before the jury and invoke some sort of sympathy. How does that work after you confess? Here to help us is the legendary host of Deadly Women. Please welcome Candace DeLong. Let's dive into the psyche of a Chris Watts. At what point in a relationship does it get so bad that divorce is no longer an option? What's your favorite podcast? My favorite murder? <gasps> the best. Yeah. What would you do if you found a body? Can I ask you a couple of questions for our show? Oh, You're so beautiful. I to talk to you so much, but I'm running. I know. Do you like true crime? It's going well. I'm talking about the little black book containing all of the supposed clients of Heidi Fleiss, AKA Mad of Hollywood. Fleiss's empire comes crashing down in June 1993 when four of her girls get busted in an undercover sting operation with cops posing as Japanese businessmen. So what are the basics of this before we get into it? Let's try it slow. Okay, yeah, I'm slow, here. that's a good idea. I'm here, so if and I grab. soft. Gra <laughs> okay, so okay. if I grab, yep. boom, grab me tight. Bring yeah, it in, why didn't I see it? Move him again. Smash. Smash. Nice. Finish him. <laughs> Ooh, I feel powerful. Awesome. Manson has been the face of evil for nearly 50 years, but his grandson, Jason, is trying to transform their name into one of forgiveness and mercy. Jason, do you think there's a genetic disposition to being a criminal? For sure. Did you ever get into the conversation of why he did what he did? Stay safe out there. We'll see you guys next time. Right. Cheers! When I see the words Amanda Knox, nothing. That's big uh, BTK? Neither. Uh, Ted Bundy? Nope. <laughs> Tracy Stump? Nope. Cool. All right, moving on.